hey it's the end of february it's time to plant potatoes we've done a lot of work to our garden over the winter time want to give you an idea of what's going on what we've done here and the plans we have as you've seen earlier in our, some of our videos we changed the way we garden we blocked this thing off in different little plots we've got about a third of an acre here and i believe we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten plots here and we run irrigation in our walk their main lines are in our walkways and then we feed off and every plot has got its own stub up for irrigation we did this we can run drip irrigation or we can run a sprinkler but it won't all we got to have is a 50 foot water hose to water anything in the garden so we won't be pulling water hoses out and everywhere it's going to make it a lot easier to keep water also it's going to help a lot with our crop rotation so as you see here we got onions planted and I will plant our potatoes over a little bit further. Now we'll get ready to plant our spring stuff like our potatoes and our, I mean, excuse me, our tomatoes and our peppers and stuff like that. We won't have to come here and disturb this area here to get in here with our equipment to plant. We'll have this and when it gets through with, we can move on to a different plot. We can also plant cover crops in there and it helps a lot with our rotation. So it's the end of February, it's time to plant potatoes. And what we'll do it's coming here and plant our potatoes here. Now we got three inches of rain this week, so it's a little too wet. So we're not gonna plant potatoes today, but we are going to prepare for that. And we're gonna go ahead and get them all cut up and get them ready to go. And maybe next week when we get them planted. The potatoes we're planting is red potatoes. Now, these I bought at the local hardware store. I think I paid $20 for this 50 pound bag. You can buy smaller quantities than that. But we normally buy this much and if I don't plant them all, I'll give them away to some of the neighbors. Now, this one has worked best for us over the years. It stores well. We really like it. I have planted some of the finger, fingerling potatoes before and even some of the blue ones. They're fairly expensive and you have to order them. Money's tight, so we're just going to plant the red potatoes this year. Now, what you do here is a few days before you're going to plant them, you want to cut them up. And the reason behind that is, and I'll show you. This area here, if you give it a few days, will heal over. And when you plant them, that keeps moisture from absorbing into that plant and it helps a lot with those rotten. So when you cut the eyes, you want to get at least two eyes never cut, put them in a five gallon bucket under the shelter and they'll heal over and then you plant them. Anywhere from one day to, I have let them sit in the bucket a couple of weeks. Now, back in the day when times was really hard, Pa and Mama tell me what they did was they cut the eyes off and they saved the potato and ate it. Well, we've never had times that hard. We always just cut them up. We at least try to get two eyes per cut. So out of a 50 pound sack, we're gonna get a lot of eyes. So we'll cut them up, we'll let them sit here and hopefully next week, one day we can get them planted. So we got all the potatoes cut up, used my condor bush lure. I had to be real careful. She used a sharp block to cut my thumb off. So it's a good knife for cutting up potatoes and around general farm use. We're gonna let these, put them under the shelter, let them set a few days. Hopefully Monday or Tuesday, we're gonna have some decent weather and we'll get our wheel hoe out with our plow attachments. And we'll dig a fur and we'll show you how easy it is to plant these potatoes with our hoss wheel hoe. So it's been about five days since we cut the potatoes up and if you'll notice right here it's kind of formed a seal over the cut part of the potatoes. What that does is keeps the moisture from going in and these potatoes rotten. Now I have planted them where we've got plenty of rain or maybe a low spot and they have rotted after you planted them. Very seldom is that it happened with me because we plant our garden is up on kind of a hill. We don't have a lot of drainage problems. But if you got drainage problems or the soil is a real mucky type soil, uh, you want to make sure that the weather has warmed up enough that potatoes don't rot. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how we plant our potatoes using the wheel hoe.
birds busted out, ready to plant potatoes, always plant with your eye up. We plant about six to eight inches apart. Just a few minutes to plant our four rows of potatoes. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our plows off, switch them around, make a hiller, then I'll cover them up. We'll be through planting potatoes. There we go. We'll leave our plows in the hiller position. When those potatoes come up, we'll go back over there. We'll throw soil to them again, cover them just about up. That'll help a lot with our weed control. So there you are, showing you just how easy it is to plant potatoes with our hoss wheel hooks.